The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. In this demo, we're going to show how we can rotate the planar polarization of light using a half-wave plate. We're going to use this setup. We have a helium-neon laser. You can see the output of the laser is here. And then we're going to reflect the laser off this mirror, and then reflect it again off this mirror, pass it through this polarizer here, and then let the light fall onto the screen. The polarizer here establishes the state of polarization of light, regardless of what, what the state was before. And the little arrow here is the axis, the transmission axis of the polarizer. So the light here is then, the polarization of it is established by the transmission axis of this polarizer. Now, before we rotate the plane of polarization, we want to first analyze the, the state of polarization of the light. So we have a means of, of checking on what we're doing to the state of polarization. We do this, we do this with this polarizer acting so-called analyzer. Again, the arrow labels the transmission axis of this polarizer. And to establish that indeed the polarization coming in of the light is, is plane polarized. We get a null uh, when the arrow is in the horizontal direction, which means that the light is coming in is plane polarized, and also that its axis, its, its axis, the polarization axis, is perpendicular to the horizontal, which means it's along the vertical. So now if we look on the screen, we can get maximum transmission around vertical and z close to zero around horizontal. So now we've established the, the planar polarization of, of the light here. Now we would like to rotate the planar polarization using a half-wave plate. Here is the half-wave plate, which we now will place right in here. And as we know, half-wave plates have two principal axes. And if the light propagates along either principal axis, the, the polarization of the light is unaffected. That means there's no rotation of the plane of polarization. So let's, let's check on that. Let's first place this arrow, which is lined up with the, one of the principal axes of the, of the half-wave plate. And let's check, indeed, with the analyzer that indeed that the polarization has not, is not rotated when, when we are aligned along the principal axis. Again, let's rotate it to find null. And here is null. And you can see that null is, again, when the arrow of the analyzer shows horizontal, which means that the, the planar polarization is really uh, vertical. Now, let's check while we're here, let's check on the other propagation along the other principal axis, which is 90 degrees away from this one. So let's go find horizontal. Let's say it's around here. Let's check again where null is. And you can see that null is again in, this, uh, in the same place when the analyzer is showing horizontal, which again means that the planar polarization is in the vertical direction. All right, so we've established that there's no rotation in, when propagating along principal, the two principal axes of the half-wave plate. Now let's demonstrate rotation of the polarization using, using uh, this half-wave plate. So let me now uh, set it at, let's say, around 45 degrees or so with respect to uh, the vertical axis. Let's now go to the analyzer and see what happened to the state of polarization. Again, let's track the null, and I keep, I'll keep rotating the analyzer until I find, find null. Here it is, here it comes, here's null. Now, what does that mean? It means that the light here 
after the halfway plate is plane polarized, and that indeed the plane of polarization is along the horizontal direction because the block axis or the null axis is, is vertical. So it means that we've rotated the plane of polarization from the original one, which was along here, to, to the horizontal one, which means by 90 degrees using the halfway plate. So the thing that you want to notice is that when the halfway plate is rotated by 45 degrees, the, the polarization, the state of polarization, is, the plane of polarization is rotated by twice that, by 90 degrees. And the interesting thing about the halfway plate, using a halfway plate, is that the peak intensity, and now let me get the peak intensity here, the peak intensity does not drop with rotation of polarization. For example, if I decide to rotate by, uh, by a smaller amount, like this, the, again, let's establish the, the state of polarization. Again, null now is no longer uh, uh, pointing below, but it's pointing at, at, at this angle here, which means that the plane of polarization is, is, is different. And, and, uh, and then we go see what the peak value of the transmitted light is, which is around here somewhere, you can see that the peak value has not dropped. So the conclusion of this is that a half-wave plate, or at least a good half-wave plate, can rotate the plane of polarization from 0 to 90 degrees without any loss of intensity.